Hey friends, Rob here, response review. The coroner's office just in on the death of young Paul Walker. Car exceeds 100 miles an hour. And you, know, you could tell from those pictures that car was wrapped around that pole. And they were saying 40, 40, 40, 45 miles an hour. I certainly didn't think so. I mean, obviously those Porsche race cars exceed 150 miles an hour capable of. But, you know, my topic, my concern as a minister of the gospel is the topic of eternity. I mean, you know, eternity is without measure. Is it a billion years? Is it a billion times a billion years? Friends, eternity is without end. And, you know, Mr. Paul, Paul has entered into now what we call eternity. And, you know, if his life was right and he submitted his heart to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, he's in heaven. If he didn't, you know, Jesus did teach in the Bible about a place literally called hell. Is there a fire in hell? Am I trying to scare the hell out of you? Hopefully for some of you out there. And the reality, friends, is we're all going to take our last breath one day unless someone out there has found the fountain of youth. And we're all going to enter into eternity. And unless your life is surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you cannot and will not make heaven your home. And the only way you can have that insurance that you'll make heaven your home is by having your life surrendered and submitted to the Lordship of Jesus. And, you know, God's plan for your life is that you would invite Him into your heart. He comes by invitation only. The Lord will never crash, knock, or blow the door down to your heart. You know, God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will so you can accept Christ out of obedience or reject Him out of disobedience. And I promise you one thing. Once you open the door of your heart just to crack, the Lord will come in with His great grace, mercy, compassion, kindness. Most of all, is irrevocable uh, irrevocable, unconditional love. And the Bible is very clear about the love of God. It says in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16, For God so loved the world, He gave His only Son, that if you would believe, receive Christ, you would never perish. You'd have everlasting and eternal life. And once again, God desires none of us to perish. He wants us all to have that insurance that when we take our last breath, we can and we will make heaven our home. And Again, the only way we can have that is by having our lives surrendered to the Lordship of Jesus. And desire to recite a simple prayer after me, say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. God bless you if you prayed that prayer. Heaven applaud you. Angels are throwing a party. Again, car exceeds 100 miles an hour. The Paul Walker crash. What a sad, sad story of a young man that had his whole life in front of him. His destiny was cut short due to someone driving reckless. Uh, hey, friends, the Lord loves you. Be blessed. Desire to subscribe to my ministry page via YouTube. Go for it. Be blessed, friends.